What if I told you my house is always warm, my hot water, it never runs out, and I spend less money than I did with a gas boiler? Let me tell you why I love my heat pump. Hey everyone, JT here, back with another video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today, I wanna to share with you the top three things I love about owning a heat pump. Now, we're coming to the end of our first month since we've had our heat pump installed, and it's already changed our lives for the better. And spoiler alert, it's all about comfort, convenience, and cost savings. So let's start with comfort. With a heat pump, the temperature in my home stays perfect all day and all night. No more cold mornings or waiting for the heating to kick in. My house has found its sweet spot and it stays there all day long. With our old gas boiler, we would heat in bursts, but during the day, the house would start to cool down and it would need to be boosted up again in the evening. Now with the cost of gas, it was just too expensive to keep the gas boiler working all day to maintain a constant temperature. So we boosted it up before we got up in the morning and we boosted it again in the evening before we'd sit down for dinner. We were always saying, it's a little cold, can we turn the heating up? That's something that's never said in our house anymore. We keep the house at a cosy 20 degrees. When we set the temperature at night, we drop it back about three to four degrees, which makes it really comfortable for sleeping. Then we start to warm it up again just before everybody wakes up in the morning. The house is constantly warm and we never get up to a cold house, even when the temperature outside is below zero. The heat pump runs on a weather compensation curve, adjusting how much heat it needs to produce based on external temperatures. So no matter what the temperature is outside, it's always cozy inside. Constant hot water is something that's just amazing. Now for all of you with combi boilers, you already know this. But for those of us with our old style condensing boilers, we used to heat our water in the early hours of the morning so that we could have a shower when we got up and then we'd heat it again in the evening so that if anybody wanted to take a shower or have a bath when they got home from work there was hot water available but it did mean that we would run out during the day now on days when people would work from home or the weekends or when we had guests to stay we were constantly boosting the hot water that meant we were running the boiler multiple times a day being very inefficient and costing us a lot more money the other disadvantage of the way we used to heat our water was that we used to have to wait. We used to have a phrase, is the water hot enough for me to have a shower? We don't say that anymore. It's hot all of the time. Now, because of the showers that we have in the house, they are mixer showers, uh, we set our temperature in our tank at 43 degrees. That means when the temperature reaches 33 degrees, the heat pump automatically kicks in and starts heating the, the water back up. Because it's such a small delta, it doesn't take very long, maybe half an hour and the tank's back to 43 degrees. And it takes a lot less energy to heat a tank from 33 degrees to 43 degrees than it is to try and heat a whole tank of cold water to make sure that it's available when anybody wants to use it. Now the third thing is how much this thing costs to run. But heat pumps cost a fortune to run, I've heard everybody say. Well, when I look at my figures, my electricity bill for last November was £120. This November, including nearly three weeks of running with a heat pump, it was £127. So we've effectively wiped out our gas bill. I'm fully expecting in December my gas bill to be somewhere in the region of about three to four pounds for the entire month, because the only thing we use gas for now is our hob. Our energy bills, because we're able to charge our batteries when we're in the low cost periods overnight, means that running the heat pump during the day costs us next to nothing. As you can see, the energy bill went up seven pounds in a month. Now, some of you are saying, yes, I know, but you spent a lot of money on batteries and solar and other things. That's what's making the heat pump cheap to run. Not everybody can do that. And I fully understand that argument. But our solar panels, we've had solar panels for 14 years now. Our batteries have paid for themselves. So that's why I'm not including them in the cost of running the heat pump. We already had that investment, we've already made that investment and we've paid it off. So that is why our heat pump is so cheap to run. 
Now, if you want to do a deep dive into the costs, then join me next week when I've got a full month's worth of data and we'll dig into what did it actually cost to run, how many kilowatt hours, what would it have cost to run if we didn't have solar and batteries. We'll look at all of that in an upcoming video. Now, I'm loving this heat pump journey. It has really changed our house. Our house is lovely and warm. The family really love it. I hope you found some value from this journey that we've been on. This is not the end. This is only the beginning. I'll be back soon with another video. If I'm lucky, I'll see you all there. Take care. Bye-bye.